Hey everybody, it's Mimi Raffle Chips here, and we're here with Subnautica, or Subnauseous, as Jack Septicai would say. If you haven't heard of him, you should really check him out. He's the reason I started playing this game. And this game is awesome, by the way. And so, let's begin. Explosion. I don't think this is all that great of a life pod or escape module container. I don't know. But let's get started. If the chair ever lets us out. Now we can get started. Um, well, let's not burn to death. The fire extinguisher is a great place to start. Remember, pass. Point, aim, sweep. Point, aim, spray, and sweep. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I haven't never used a fire extinguisher. And now we're loading inside of a game. You have suffered minor. Head trauma. Watch it. It's this the is great load screen simulator. Outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the We're on an alien for planet. detailed survival advice. Hopefully it's not like alien like alien and predator because that would be miserable. Um uh, well the fire extinguisher, nutrient blocks, and water. Yeah. Water and nutrient blocks. I was hungry. I wonder what a nutrient block tastes like. Probably kind of crappy. It's just nothing but vitamins, I would think. A stingray bird. Bird ray. And I'm assuming that's our spaceship. The Aurora suffered orbital it it's the Aurora. Zero human life Orbital detected. hull failure. Um, well that sounds like we kind of got shot. Uh, grab titanium. Because I have, it's the basic building block of the game. I have played a little bit, so I kind of have an idea of what to do. The titanium, or the metal salvage makes titanium. Which is the basic building block of everything. Uh, we're gonna need a knife. Oh, look at that. Cute little one-eyed fish. Well, it might have two eyes, but it's a very big eye. Uh, repair tool. Gotta fix the inside of the life pod. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffle. Um, I'm a touch sick because of my great girlfriend being sick and now I'm sick and it's miserable but I think this game is awesome it is as far as I know the only underwater survival Copper game is an essential where the whole planet is equipment. I think Your the whole planet is water if I'm not mistaken unlikely, and so you're pretty much just a person surviving trying to survive on a watery planet uh, just obviously you need oxygen you have your uh, your O2 bar which is your oxygen um, well, we're gonna get eaten if we're not careful by that big ugly fish we're gonna grab some creep vine seed clusters Life on this planet, and so that way those are, will make biomes. I think it's rubber or they'll make lubricant I think is the other thing they make and we need rubber to make the survival knife so I'm gonna grab more metal salvage so that way we have a pretty good start of titanium 
right here at the beginning. Um, I apologize for some of the cutscenes, but <laughs> I had to swim through a tube. Or not, yeah. Swim through the tube. Right. It was cool. This whole game is cool. They did a fantastic job with the graphics. Everything looks awesome. And now I'm I play on the Xbox One because my computer sucks. Thanks, Best Buy. I appreciate that. Anyways, um, this game is also available on Steam for the computer. And on the computer, you have the full version. Oh, we're going to let her talk. Anyways, on the computer, you have the full version. On the Xbox, it's still kind of a beta-ish. But, man, those little exploding bastards. That's where Cave Sulfur is. And so, we're going to get rid of some quartz. Grab some Cave Sulfur. Because that is an important part of making the repair tool, which is, right off the bat, super important. I'm going to apologize now for... The little cut scene or the little cuts in the video I'm saving you guys a ton of just watching me farm and I think the fabricator the crafting thing workbench it's called the fabricator it creates things with lasers you just bring ingredients or materials Weapons and it just kind of and it makes things that was my laser sounds crime. they were Probably stupid, but whatever. Exception. It makes your items. And it tells you, obviously, what items you can make and what you can't make. Um, a new air tank, a uh, bigger air tank, is so helpful. So are the fins. Both of those are super helpful. Um, we're going to repair the life pod. Environment diagnostics. And eventually we will go through and read all the little information bits so you guys can get a better understanding. But with this being the very first episode for this new game to the channel, um, I just kind of wanted to start getting things around. So that way, it's easier. Oh, I'll look at the cute little fish and the stingray. I, this game is beautiful. They did great on the animals, the plants. We're going to pick up some acid mushrooms because they are super important to make batteries. And batteries make it so you can have electronics. And I apologize for the sound. I don't know what happened, but... There's no creature sounds, so you're just going to hear music and every once in a while an odd sound from doing something in the game. And I couldn't tell when I recorded this that this is what happened, because all the sounds were right on my end. So I really apologize for that. The next video in this series will definitely have volume. I promise. Increased local radiation this is, it's the night time, I really wanted to skip all of the dark, but, um, I wanted to skip the dark, because it's really hard to see. Oh, we never fixed the radio. Gotta fix the radio. It'll tell us important things. Like this. Alright. Um, the words are way behind the, the voice of the radio. And this is the dark. This, they did a awesome job on the sky the sky looks so cool all the little fish are fluorescent and it's pretty cool 
really. It's beautiful. But I'm going to try and uh, skip the farming aspect of this game because a lot of it is farming to try to get all the resources you need to build and get to the next step. So this first video is an introduction really and to look at the graphics and kind of get a feel for it I guess. Um, you have to find blueprints, you can't just make whatever you want whenever you feel like it. Oh, I'm gonna scan this. Maybe. Yeah. Rabbit ray. Kind of cool looking. It's like a little baby stingray. Man, does it go dark? Not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see any of that really. But. Uh, computer chip um, and wiring. Might as well scan. Creep fine. And again, I apologize for the volume because we should be able to hear these guys coming. And I'm really sorry about that. There is no volume because thing it's the creatures sound so cool. If the next video doesn't have volume, I'll check it before it gets this far. These are called stalkers. They're horrible, hurdy shark monsters. And Silver based wiring kits are an essential talk. component of many habitat modules. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, blah, blah, followed blah, by blah, eventual blah, blah, asphyxiation. Anyways, um, <laughs> apart from her talking and telling us very useful information, um, the brain coral. Screw that guy, stalker. They're assholes. Like him. What a dick. But he does make a cool sound, and I apologize for you guys not being able to hear it. I may have to restart the series again. This is the second time I've tried to record a video for this. Um, always check your crates. If you see any of these special cargo crates, go up to them with the scanner. And, well, first you have to build the scanner, but that's a super basic thing. It's like copper and a battery, or titanium and a battery. And a battery is copper ore and um, two acid mushroom. Scanner, not a fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher underwater will just launch you up. Look at that. I thought I was going to die for a second, but fire extinguisher underwater just launches you into the air, and, or not into the air, but towards the surface, and you have to, when you find objects, you find them in um, fragments, and so when you scan the fragments, you get things. Back at the base. Got work to do. I want a habitat builder so I can build us a little base. It won't be anything special. But we need titanium. Titanium builds everything. Some more copper. Seek fluid intake. We have a message. Receiving re recorded mistress. Come on. Come on. Come this on. is Life Pods 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. In the next also, episode, don't go home without maybe us. we'll get a sea glide. Seriously. Yeah. Three out. Seriously, don't leave without us. Signal well, you're probably defeated. dead, so I'll do my best, but no guarantees. But having a sea glide would be cool. Hopefully, we can get one this episode. That would be awesome. The but is designed to um, habitats. see if we can find all the parts for them for it really because all of your items that you can build really besides the basic ones you start with come as a fragment Local and they're in these crates the and they're that's Depth the only way to an letting the girl talk biome. but we're going to build it right next to this cave entrance because 
that just seems like a great place to start. Uh, when to open my menu. I'm thirsty. Very thirsty. Oxygen. So I'm gonna drown. Hope. Well, I hope I don't drown. Uh, it's go. Don't go towards the light. Continued degradation of the auroras. Whoa. Drive cool. <laughs> I was pretty sure I died. Which would have been embarrassing. But I didn't. And it's okay. Um, the building aspect is super cool. Um, it all starts out as kind of kind of like a modular tube construction. Um, they don't... You don't just start with power. You have to build a solar panel and that will generate power but only if you're close to the surface um, we built a beacon for our base because the base doesn't show up on the map without a beacon add, more, add a little bit more on ouch um, I have no idea what that was but we build a solar panel. Obviously, it's not going to work in the dark. But when it's daylight out, it will work, and then we'll have power. But for now, Warning. we don't. Only. And without power, um, it doesn't produce oxygen, which means you can't be in there. This is my beacon. It's kind of adorable. We're going to name him Home. It's the home beacon. And then when you get a distance away, you can look back at it and it says home. And then it floats around and it's always on display unless you go into the menu and shut it off. But that's definitely not something we're going to shut off. <sighs> it's dark. It really seems like it's dark. I don't want it to be dark. Um, to get more water, because that's a very important thing. Without water, you die. Um, you find these fish. They're called bladder fish. They kind of look weird. I don't know why I cut out getting a bladder fish. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six, Six out. out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Uh, Approximate transmission origin recorded. Could go get a life pod. Go check on them. Or we can swim around and find resources. Maybe stab a fish. New creature They're discovered. called peepers. I'm sure it's because of their big old peepers. The sea glide. That's what I thought. This is the last fragment. Which that means we can build a sea glide. And we can also build a mobile vehicle bay. Which the mobile vehicle bay is what you use to build aboard, vehicles. I mean, it kind of says it right in the name. Um, you can build a little sub, and you can build a big sub, and then you can build like a mech suit. Which obviously those are more towards like an end game kind of thing. So those aren't even possible to get right now. Um, yeah, you go up to the, you grab um, the scrap metal that you find laying all over the place. Is essential in construction um, of vehicles and power plants. You can turn it into titanium here at the fabricator. Which I'm happy you can hear the fabricator. At least I think Warning. you can hear it. Local radiation readings suggest uh, we're going to build a locker so we can stash our stuff. And then if you do die, um, whatever you, whatever items you had on you in your base will be on you when you die and come back. Um, because this is going to be our base, let's put a radio down here so that way we don't have to go all the way up to the life pod to hear our lovely messages about life pods and whatever else we're going to get messages about. Let's put some windows in. 
I'm gonna be able to see outside. Uh, yeah, see outside. I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna grab this quartz because that's how you make glass. So that way we can have more windows because they look cool. That's an egg. I don't want that. I want the quartz. Because we can put several more windows in. So we can see all the cool stuff going on outside. Kinda wish I wouldn't have put the fabricator here. But you can break your items down like your things that you build down and you get exactly what you put into them back. So if I did want to get rid of the fabricator eventually, I could break it down and get it back for exactly what it was. Which was kind of some hard to get stuff at the very beginning. Um, let's build a sea glide. Because I have all the blueprint fragments for that now. And that'll be, we built a base, um, we're going to build a sea glide. That's it's a pretty solid start. I know this video seems a little choppy, but the there's a lot of farming to do. This was a lot of footage to try to dumb down into a small video that, people, that you guys would actually want to watch, not sit here for an hour. And obviously this, the right sounds didn't even record. That's super disappointing, and I'm super sorry. Congratulations, Survivor. You have exceeded your yeah. weekly exercise. We have exceeded our weekly exercise. Data Mostly that because that's all we have activity. to do. Be sure to vary and that's that cave I was talking about. And it goes pretty far down. But, um, we're gonna die without water. And so another way you can make water is with bleach. Which, yeah, uh, well, making water with bleach happy. sounds super dangerous. It kind of is. Uh, I grabbed that. I grabbed the table coral. Yeah, table coral. That's what I needed. By the way, Emergency. Um, a quantum detonation has occurred I'm wrong. In the I don't need table coral. The I need tube coral. State, but... I think we're gonna watch something blow up. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. That's pretty cool. That was <laughs> pretty awesome. Um, easily one of my best, or my best my favorite video game explosions. Oh, we got and we got a radiation suit out of it. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Been added to our blueprint database. Thank you, lady. That was very nice. Now we have coral tube chunks. Um, now we can make bleach, which is how we make water. And we're back. Got to make some bleach. Because bleach apparently disinfects water. But I can tell you right now, I would not drink bleach water. Because that sounds kind of gross. But we've got our super bleach water. Um, we got a sea glide. We built a small base. And so I think we're off to a pretty good start. We got a message. Um... Yeah, we're off to a good start, so I uh, hope you liked it. Sorry about the sounds. Take it easy.